Hi everyone, this is Ogai Azerbaijan and today we are here in Estonia to build bridges with Alika. There is always time to get back on track Tearing down the wall slowly every step Now I see myself building up a world of bridges Hello Alika. Hey, hey. How are you doing? I'm doing really fine. In Estonia we have a kind of spring weather for the last two days so it's I'm really happy that, that we don't have snow <laughs> <laughs> actually Alika before starting our interview can you please introduce who is Alika Milova I am Alika <laughs> um, and I'm 20 years old and this year I will be 21 <laughs> and I live in Estonia in Tallinn in the capital of, of uh, Estonia and um, I really love to be here. <laughs> uh, Alika, who inspires you music-wise? I would say that I don't have like one particular idol or one particular artist that I listen all the time. I really love all the kinds of music. Um, I don't know, but I think that that the most inspiring artist of all times for me is uh, oh. <laughs> uh, Led Zeppelin, um, Zemfira, mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar, if, if we are talking about hip hop mm -hmm. or B.I.G. <laughs> actually, there are a lot of them, so it's really hard for me to tell. But right now, actually, um, one particular artist really inspires me. It is uh, Ray. Uh, it's a new finding for me, and I really love her music. Yep. Mm -hmm. You also actually participated in different music com uh, competitions, and the recent one was uh, Estonian Idol. What these uh, competitions or contests give to the artist? It gives a lot, actually. Uh, when I went there, I was, I would say, really badly but I was no one <laughs> in the music industry in Estonia uh, but yeah Estonian Idol gives you a, a lot of uh, different different goodies for example like gigs after the winning or just the popularity in your own country so it actually changed my life because after the winning I started to to do what I all what I always dreamed of. So I always dreamed of uh, doing concerts all the time, and now I have it, thanks to thanks to Estonian Idol. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, after winning uh, Estonian Idol, you also released three singles: uh, "Ne Number," mm -hmm. "Sense La Vie," and "Bon Appetit." Yep. So if we are comparing it with Bridges. Uh, mm -hmm. How you would describe your music in general? Yeah, it's really hard for me to, no, not for me actually, for other people who are listening to uh, those tracks in my Spotify, it's really hard to understand what my music uh, is representing because uh, only after the Estonian Idol I started to release my songs and that's because there are only a few of them and they are really like different from each other in my opinion and um, for example Luna number is not my song it is a song which went automatically after the winning Estonian Idol so um, it was just like a contract for it mm -hmm. but um, those two Bon Appetit and C'est la Vie, uh, yeah, are representing my two sides of being a human, I would say, because C'est la Vie is more, more like ele electro music. Um, but I would say that my music is indie pop rock, and I'm... I'm uh, going with it, and I really hope that this year uh, I will also uh, release an album 
and oh. then uh, I would say it, it's more simpler to understand what what my music sounds like. Exciting news! So <laughs> we are looking forward for your album. Then uh, Mulon Kusimus miss on Sino on the number. Minu on the number on number kaheksa. Uh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky number is eight. I really love this number, number of infinity also. And where the love uh, for French language is coming? Because like your both uh, singles is like uh, in French yeah. language. Yeah, uh, uh, not exactly in yeah. French language. In Selavi is only mm -hmm. the chorus and in Bon Appetit only the words Bon Appetit. <laughs> But yeah, actually, I don't even know where it is coming from because I never learned French. I don't speak French, but for some reasons, for example, yesterday I had a gig when I was uh, uh, singing an uh, opera song in a different version, uh, Rameau, Rameau. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was in French, and after that, a lot of people who speak French freely and who learn French for the entire life said to me that I I have a really good pronunciation and a really good accent in French. And I don't know where it is coming from. Maybe I thought yesterday that maybe I was a French woman or a man in my past life. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Then uh, let's move actually to Eurovision Song Contest. Um, how did you decide uh, to apply to um, Esti Laul? And congratulations actually with your win in Esti Laul. Thank you. Um, I think that after the Estonian Idol, I had a really busy time of course, but at one particular moment when uh, I realized uh, that those uh, like, you can send the song to the Esti Laul. I understood that this year I'm going to participate not only because I need to or I should to, but because I just feel that my heart wants some action. <laughs> I am, I don't know, I'm a young woman and I think, yeah, just my heart and my and my brain wants this Stress, stressful action, I would say. <laughs> so that's because I was really confident in uh, participating in Esti Laul. And uh, yeah, we started to do, to make a song in August with Walter. And uh, after that, yeah, I was, I was really confident that this song is what I need. And yeah, just mm -hmm. went like that. <laughs> Were you actually um, waiting this um, result? Mm, I was believing in it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I wasn't waiting, I wasn't expecting, but of course I believed in myself and in my team who was working on this project that we will win. And uh, but But yeah, I just felt that if I make my hopes up or down, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> then it's not actually a good idea because you never know mm -hmm. how the juries will, will like this or how the uh, Estonian uh, Estonians will like it. So it's really subjective for me, but I really, I really love that Estonians and also jury loved my song and it's Mm -hmm. It's 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 really lovely. Mm -hmm. And you have actually, as you mentioned, a very strong team uh, with uh, Walter Hardy, who also wrote Arcade and Win Eurovision mm -hmm. with that song. How actually is this collaboration started with Walter Hardy? My ex-manager, Carl Lande, uh, had just written him that, hey, uh, I have an artist on my management and he sent the link on YouTube when I was singing Arcade in Estonian Idol. And 
firstly, Walter has given us an answer that he don't really have time for it, and his schedule is really busy, uh, even after the half a year. So um, I don't know. We just had a negotiation, uh, like a really long negotiation, and after that. Walter was ready to do that, and uh, yeah, we went to the Netherlands, to his hometown called Hertegenbosch. Really, really beautiful town, actually. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we had a two studio session days, and uh, on the second day we have written bridges. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. In general, do you watch Eurovision? Yeah, of course, of course. It was my childhood dream to go to Eurovision. <laughs> And uh, it's really unfortunate that we don't have junior Eurovision because I was ready. I was ready when I was nine. I uh, have written my first song for Eurovision, for junior Eurovision at this time. And uh, I already was a big fan of uh, Eurovision Song Contest. And I always watched it and dreamed about going there. And now I'm sitting here. <laughs> Do you have actually any favorites from Eurovision Song Contest? Overall, my uh, favorite is Maneskin, uh, Zitia Buoni, because I'm a really big rock fan. When I was a little girl, I always listened to rock, thanks to my dad, who has really good music taste. And uh, yeah, but I think that for the last few years, or 10 years actually, I would say, um, young people don't really listen to rock music. It's not so mainstream, uh, like for example, pop music or hip hop. So um, it wasn't really bothering me, but of course, somewhere deep inside, it was kind of sad that that rock music isn't a mainstream. But after the winning uh, of Maneskin, uh, it started to go really mainstream, and from from this moment on. A lot of young people started to listen to, to rock music and to explore rock music and go to the concerts and all this. So I was really happy that they won and like they said, rock and roll never dies. And I think this was a really big win for, mm -hmm. for the world, actually. And uh, have you watched any um, songs of this year and do you have any favorites? Yes, of course I have watched. It's all over my Instagram and uh, my feed. <laughs> um, I would say that I really loved uh, Finland. It's really unique song, really special and really like crazy, crazy song with a crazy performance. And I think actually that the performance of this song is actually like carrying this song because maybe if he would just stand with the microphone mm -hmm. <laughs> then it will be a little bit weird but those dancers latina dancers are so good and the performance is so good and um, this song is really really catchy and good but the second one is spain oh. uh, because it's a really unique song which they have represented this year because i always thought and when I watched the Eurovision Song Contest for the past years I always uh, like knew that that Spain is always doing some kind of a pop pop music banger mm -hmm. <laughs> from it but this year it is actually different and they went with some kind of a weird and good way song which I really like and uh, the rhythmics of it the voice of Pamela is really good and it's it's a very very unique song yeah. mm -hmm. actually I uh, you know that there are also three returning artists to Eurovision yeah. is it kind of like uh, intimidating in that regard that they have already uh, Eurovision experience and they are coming to compete with you and <laughs> I think that they uh, actually like the same thing that just happened with me. I think they they hard just wanted it to to go because like I understood all of the performance uh, all of the performers are uh, from the 2012 2013 somewhere right there. 
So it's been 10 years and I think that they're ready to to go on Eurovision one more time. And it's really good actually. I, I would really like to do the same thing after the 10 years also, maybe, maybe, who knows. <laughs> <laughs> so you also have really like powerful song as well as like a powerful video, music video. Um, perhaps um, you can tell like um, how long did it take to shoot that video? Yeah, the music video was actually hard for me to to do that because we had a whole day uh, to film it and we had three different uh, locations. Actually, we had two different locations, <laughs> but three different themes of this music video. And yeah, I think the hardest one was to jump um, with my back uh, into the pool. It was kind of scary and also I needed to be really beautiful mm -hmm. in there, in the water. So, <laughs> uh, But yeah, the f fun fact, I, I wouldn't say that it was fun for me at this particular moment, but but yeah, if I'm thinking about it right now, then, then it's fun because I was so nervous about being in the water and jumping in there that I had some kind of a breakdown and I didn't want to and uh, we we lost a little bit of time mm -hmm. on the location because I was I was scared. <laughs> Let's actually talk about your staging. Um, it was uh, again like very beautifully staged in Estilaul. Um I wonder if you are gonna change anything. I just can't say uh, too much of, uh, about the performance because then it's it's uh, not so in interesting to to watch. But yeah, we're gonna stick with the same idea. But of course, on the Eurovision stage, we uh, we are gonna get bigger. Mm -hmm. How is the overall uh, reaction of fans, or uh, I guess like people are writing to you and... Yeah, at this moment I didn't have some kind of a bad, bad comments or bad messages, fortunately. Uh, yeah, I uh, every day I feel a lot of uh, support. For example, in my Instagram every day I have a couple of messages uh, which are coming every morning when I see uh, my requests, then I see that there are like 10 of them and people are um, uh, supporting me and being really nice to me. And it's really giving me a lot of strength to go with it and to to make a really good performance on Eurovision, yeah. Uh, in that regard, do you have any message for your fans or people who is following you? Firstly, I would say that thank you so much uh, because it's really given me a lot of strength and a, a lot of good emotions and love. And for you, I will wish you to just be yourself, be true to yourself, be honest to yourself. It's a really cliche phrase maybe that you have heard like uh, thousands of times, but I sincerely think that this is not so simple as it sounds and it is really important to trust yourself and also just love and be loved. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Um, is Alika a multilingual person? Yes, I am. <laughs> I uh, My native language is Russian. Um, I would say actually that I have two native languages because uh, I speak Estonian also freely, uh, like my native langu language would be. And uh, English also, I don't know how do you think, but I think English is doing also really well. <laughs> and um, yeah, unfortunately don't, I don't speak French, but maybe one time I start to speak French because I just feel that a lot of people want it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> well, do you like to take a challenge to learn Azerbaijani? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Um, I I think like perhaps we can do it like 
uh, let's build bridges together will be a mm -hmm. nice message. Uh, so let's an Azerbaijani is Jalin. 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 Um, bridges is Körpü, but uh, in pl plural it will be Körpüler. Mm -hmm. Ah, Körpüler. Mm -hmm. um, together is Birlikte. 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 Mm -hmm. Building is uh, basically Kurak. Uh, together, yes. Mm -hmm. Kurak. Jalin. Jalin. Körpüleri. Körpüleri. Birlikte. Birlikte. Kurak. Kurak. Jalin körpüleri. Um, Birlikte. Birlikte. Kurak. Kurak. Oh my god. It's actually a really difficult phrase. <laughs> but you did an amazing job. I don't want to like to. <laughs> <laughs> to speak freely in this word. Jalin. Uh, Körpüleri, Berlichta, Kurak. Wow, yes. amazing. <laughs> amazing, thank you. Since you are a representative of Estonia and you will go to Liverpool for two weeks, so is there anything or anyone that you are taking with you to Liverpool that you will not miss Estonia? Uh, of course, I, I'm taking with me the whole team. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, I think that my team is also my emotional support and they are all my friends. So it is really good to have a really healthy and a good like atmosphere in there. And I hope it will be um, those two weeks. So um, yeah, all the people that I need, all the people that I love are all there so i'm really happy with it thank you and one last thing <laughs> last last um if i ask uh can you sing a little bit of your song bridges <laughs> there is always time to get back on track tearing down the wall slowly every step now I see myself building up a world of bridges. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the end of the interview. I hope you enjoyed it as I did. <laughs> of course. I really wish you good luck in Liverpool. And who knows, perhaps we will see each other in Liverpool too. Yep, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>